Entertainment Express right now. The top stories we're following for you as you get ready to start your Wednesday. Multiple crews battling a large fire at an apartment complex in Del Mar. The fire consuming two apartment buildings at 9 Equinox Court in that area around 7.30 last night. Firefighters were able to get things under control. They extinguished the flames safely. No injuries reported. Eight families, though, forced out by the flames. They're now being assisted by the Red Cross. Two buildings considered to be a total loss. Cause of the fire remains under investigation this morning. Learning some new details on the man wanted in connection with a homicide in Schenectady from over the weekend. Timothy Taylor is a person of interest. In the murder of Tashawn Folks Taylor, his ex-wife, the NYPD, is also looking for Taylor. They want him for questioning in the murder of 37-year-old Teresa Gregg, a Brooklyn mom and officer with the city's Department of Homeless Services. The town of Colony suing Albany and New York City after a group arrived at a hotel on Wolf Road Saturday. Colony Town Supervisor Peter Crummy claims Albany Mayor Kathy Sheehan knew asylum seekers were going to Colony before he was informed of the news Friday night. Sheehan denying the claim, asking the judge to drop Albany from Crummy's lawsuit. A new bill being introduced in the state Senate could change the way many New Yorkers vote. The legislation would allow you to use a mail-in ballot without a specific reason. Democrats in the state legislature say it would make things easier. Good for democracy. Republicans, however, claim it is unconstitutional. With summer just around the corner, Albany County taking the initiative to help residents prevent skin cancer. The county installing automatic sunscreen dispensers throughout area parks. The announcement coincides with Melanoma Awareness Month and the county's effort to raise awareness about the risks and how to prevent skin cancer.